Can we all just appreciate how Bleach makes even an episode that's mostly set up like this one feel like it's only 5 minutes long? Like damn, where did all my time go? This was such a nice episode and even though I said it was mostly a set up episode, it still had so much stuff and a lot of information pertaining to the lore of the series and the Bleach world. That's extremely important along with a cool fight where we finally get to see the Squad Zero throwdown. And finally, giving us what exactly is the end goal for Yuha and what he wants to do with the Soul King. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with this episode. So the episode starts off with the added content that's a flashback between Yuha and Ichibe. And I'm so damn glad they added this scene in the anime as it basically fixes some stuff that happened in the manga that kind of doesn't make sense later on. So the story is being actively enhanced by the anime. Kubo was absolutely cooking in there at Studio Pierrot with the added content. So far added content has mostly been extended fights and Shinji's Bankai. So it's very nice to see they're making changes that actively make the story better. And that gets me really hyped for the future of this arc because I do definitely have some issues with this arc that I hope get fixed later on. I'm not gonna mention how exactly the added content makes the story better as it would be spoiler for anime onlys. And now moving on, in this meeting with Yuha and Ichibe, we get some very important Bleach lore. And that's the fact that the Soul Society, the world of the living and Hueco Mundo coexisted together and the one who separated all three of those worlds was the Soul King. Dividing the living and the dead, he put in the fear of death into all humans. And Yuha's end goal is to basically merge all three of these worlds together again and find true peace. And we also see Yuha calling the Soul King as father. Then we see Ichigo and the gang along with our goddess Yoruichi going to the royal palace. And they're joined by fucking Ganju for some reason. Like what the hell is bro planning to do there? Sit your ass down bro. But hey, maybe I'm just wrong and he's gonna solo Yuha. So let me not talk just yet. But so far he's definitely the imposter. Then we finally move on to the main event of this episode. The introduction of the royal guards and their fight with Squad Zero. And I just have to say, it feels so good to see Squad Zero fight after so much build up with them. They were foreshadowed way back in the Aizen Pass arc with Shinji and Hiyori. Also before the fight, I do have to say, Senju Maru is so goddamn fine, like holy shit. I also love her voice actress and she fits the role perfectly. I remember not getting her in Bleach Brave Souls the Gacha game and was devastated for days. She is finally in the anime and even though we already saw her, this felt more like her introduction than the previous time. Her fight with Sternritter W was funny as hell. She straight up sued that clown to death while he was busy yapping about his powers. Then we get the introduction of royal guards and her fight with them. And honestly, the whole fight felt like a Uno reverse card after Uno reverse card. Senju Maru gets killed in the most brutal way imaginable and then gets crushed like a tissue paper about to be thrown away. Like damn. Then psych, it was all an illusion and the royal palace they were at was an illusion as well and Yuha's royal guards get trapped in Hikifune's cage and Ichibe is guarding the real royal palace. Tenjiro and Oetsu also enter the cage ready for the smoke with the royal guards and Oetsu absolutely obliterates every single one of them with one strike. That was such a badass scene, especially him mentioning that he made a sword so great that it isn't even a good sword anymore. What a massive flex. Then Yuha turns into Minato for a second and teleports himself out of the cage and appears right in front of and the episode ends with both of them about to throw down. And in case some of you guys are unaware, the next two episodes will be aired simultaneously next week, meaning we'll get an hour long episode. And as you can see from where this episode ended, you can assume just how insane the next episode is about to be. The strongest Soul Reaper fighting against Yuha and even though the Royal Guards are down, Uryu and Hashwalt are still there completely fine and considering that Hashwalt is basically Uryu's right hand man and how he approved Uryu as his successor, the next episode is about to be incredible. With all that being said though, that's all I have for this video. 
make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day and hopefully see you guys in my next video.